I'm Simon and welcome back to the Shellview Lab. One of the most common questions customers ask us is whether they can add their own floor plans to the Google Maps that are shown throughout the Shellview response interface. In this episode, I'm going to show you how easy it is. This doesn't require any special programs or mapping skills. All you need is a copy of your floor plans in a JPEG or PNG file. For today's example, I'm going to add a simple floor plan to our building representing our office. The first step is to go to Map Setup and select the area you want to add your floor plan. The next step is to add a new map layer where our floor plan image will be stored. Select Add a Map Layer and start adding the details about this new floor plan. Give it a title, confirm the area, and select the floor. In our case, our office is on the 22nd floor, so we'll add 22. Next, find your floor plan image on your computer and upload it to Shellview. Once the image is uploaded, simply click on the map to draw a box or rectangle where you want the image to sit. You don't have to be precise at this stage. We'll move and rescale the image in the next step. Once you see your image on the Google map, you can move it around by clicking and holding the image. You can scale it using the corners of the rectangle and you can rotate the image by clicking and grabbing the small ball icon. When the image is where you want it, simply click save. Back in the main response interface, operators can see this floor plan by toggling the floor labels or using the up and down arrows. As you can see, our building, we have the first and 22nd floors added to the map. Now that you've created this new map layer, you can associate any object to that layer. For instance, adding cameras and alarms that are unique to the floor in the building. Also keep in mind that you can add any type of image to a map layer. It doesn't have to be a floor plan. It can be anything that provides context and situational awareness for your operators. One final tip. Where possible, I would recommend using a PNG file as these supports transparent backgrounds so you don't end up with an ugly white border around the outside of your floor plan. It only takes a couple of minutes to add your own unique building floor plans to the already rich and familiar Google mapping interface. It's another important tool ensuring offices have the context they need for a quick response. Check out the other videos in this series and subscribe below to stay up to date with the latest from Shoreview.